Hello everybody, this is Excel Video 338 and I'm Nate Moore. I'm sending this to you from Alabama where I'm in town to speak for Alabama MGMA tomorrow. If I haven't spoken to your organization lately, I'd love to do it. We're going to change tax here for a couple of Excel videos and talk about scenarios. And to get started, I'm going to spend part of this video just explaining what I'm up to. What I have is a sample dummy physician con compensation plan. Don't try this at home. This is the purpose of this is really to explain how Excel works, not to say how to compensate your physicians. But that said, our four doctors have this compensation model they want to work out and see if they tweak some of these variables, how do the different doctors fare under different methods of compensating them based on production. So the idea is this. They've got a base salary of $200,000. The dollars per additional RVU above and beyond 7,000 RVUs per year is compensated at $35 per additional RVU, up and above $7,000. Dollars per additional bill charged, they're compensated at $0.25 cents on the dollar for every additional bill charged over a million dollars in a year. And there, again, there's all kinds of discussions about whether or not that ought to be the way to compensate your physicians or collections versus bill charges. I don't, I'm not going there. It's just for the purposes of our example. That's the way this model works. And so what the physicians want to do and the administrator says is, all right, well, what if we change and maybe we only do $25 per RVU, but we give them a little bit more for additional bill charge. Or what if we change the base salary? And we know it's not 200, but it's 220. How do the different doctors who work different amounts have different excess RVUs? This doctor doesn't even reach a million in bill charges, but these do, and this one's significantly more. How do we compensate them? What I want to do is introduce the way the scenario works from here. From the what if analysis on the data tab, scenario manager and we're going to add a scenario. So our first scenario is what we have set up and what I'm going to call this is base is 200 K and I'm going to do let's just put $35 per RVU and we'll do 0.25 cents on the dollar for an additional bill charge. That's the name of our scenario. Well what cells are we going to change? we're going to change these cells here. These are the cells that are going to change. Everything down here are formulas based on what's going on up here. So those are the cells I want to change. The comment created by Nate works for me. The protection only applies if you protected the worksheet, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to click OK. It says, OK, Nate, you've got a scenario. What do you want to do? I want B3 to be 200,000, just the way I have it. I want B4 to be 35, just the way I have it. It should be 4 to be 35 and be 5 to be 0.25. I can click OK. What I'm going to do is click Add and do one more scenario in this video. Now the scenario is, ba hello, base, two tw let's do 220. And if we're all going to do 220, then we're only going to do $25 per additional RVU. And we're going to do $0.23 cents for our dollars per additional build charge. So 220, 25, and 0.23. We're going to click OK. Change this to 220. This to 25. And that to 23. That's how you set up a scenario. And then what you can do, once I have these set up, I guess I, here, I'll show you how to edit while we're at it. We'll put a K. If you hit the edit button, I'm going to put a K there. We'll even capitalize it. Now, now oh, look, I had a $25 there too. Forgive me. Show you how to edit twice. Now they look the same. So what I can do is when I want to see the base scenario, I do show, and it will show that scenario. Or I can choose this one, and I can double click. I don't have to do show. I can double click as well. And there's this scenario, and you can see how the different physicians change. For here, Doctor C makes 320. Here, 318. Here's 208. And there's 225. So a small change for Dr. C, but a big change for Dr. A if we move to this scenario. I want to talk a bunch more about scenarios, how to report on them, how to play with them. And I want to do all that in the next Excel video. Thanks for watching.